Hey, my name is Alec, and I've managed to become a web developer without getting a college degree and learning everything I had to learn about web development in less than six months after I quit college. If you want to know how to become a web developer in less than six months, in this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how you can do that and how I did it. Yes, becoming a web developer usually takes a college degree and three years of learning web development in college. But if you know how to learn the right way and you find the right courses online, you can actually manage to get these high paying jobs without spending $15,000 on a college degree or maybe more in your country and without wasting three years of your life learning this. If you want a good job, I completely fucking understand. And I believe you do deserve to get that good job without having to waste $15,000 on a college degree and wasting all that time learning things that you don't actually fucking need. And since I know it's possible and I've done it, I managed to get jobs, managed to get paid $85 an hour as a freelancer on some projects. I know it's possible. And for this video, I have compiled the best list of courses that you can follow to reach your goal of becoming a web developer in less than six months and for less than $200. But I'm going to be real with you. I can share with you the most amazing courses in the world. I can share with you the most amazing advice on how to build a resume. I can share with you all that I did. But if you don't take action, if you don't watch those courses, if you get these courses and you don't do the exercises, you're not going to learn what you need to actually succeed in this career. All right, with that said, let me share with you my plan and blueprint for you to become a web developer in less than six months. All right, the first thing you want to do is get a course called Pre-Programming Everything You Need to Learn Before You Start to Code by Evan Kimbrell on Udemy. I'm going to share with you links to all these courses in the description. And the reason you want to get this course is if you're not very familiar with programming, you don't know the terminology, you don't know the difference between front end, back end, a server, what it does, what a stack is. If you don't know any of these things, this, this course will explain to you all the basics and give you all the vocabulary that you need to start understanding what people say when they talk about programming. And getting this course first allows you to understand all the other courses better. After that, what you're going to do is get a course called the Web Developer Bootcamp. Okay, this is the best course on programming I have ever seen. It's going to teach you all the fundamentals of building websites, both front end and back end. And in my case, it's the only programming course that I needed to become a web developer. I had just one. It's going to teach you all the basic programming skills that you need to build websites, HTML, CSS, modern JavaScript, how to deal with servers. It's over 40 hours long, like you get a ton of videos, but it's going to take you actually a lot more than that because you have a lot of projects that you need to build. And I really recommend you do these exercises, not just for you to learn programming, but also for you to have a fucking portfolio. Man, it's been so much easier for me to get my first job after showing my portfolio. The thing is, if you don't have a degree, a lot of potential employers are going to be skeptical about whether or not you're really a good developer if you don't have a degree. But if you have a portfolio and you can share them, show them what you have built, this actually shows them that you actually have skill and that they can trust you. And the guy that made this course is actually a real college teacher. Like that's what he does in real life. And what he did is he took the boot camps that he was actually teaching in real life and he made a web version of it. And to put into perspective what that means, these boot camps that he used to be teaching Actually, he charged between $14,000 and $21,000 for them. And he's actually selling you that for like less than $200. I don't really know the real price right now because it's on Udemy and Udemy, Udemy prices fluctuate and they have sales all the fucking time. But if you want to see exactly how much it costs right now, you can click the link in the description and go check it out. In my opinion, if, it's, if you can get it for less than $30, definitely worth it. Otherwise, you should probably wait for a sale because it's probably going to be on sale very soon. Udemy has sales very often. The next course you want to get is going to be WordPress for Beginners by Andrew Williams. And the reason for this is that one of the most used technologies on websites on the internet right now is WordPress. And whether you work in an agency or as a freelancer, a lot of the people who are going to approach you to get websites made or website updates are actually people who have WordPress sites. And if you don't know WordPress, if you don't know how to use it, how to modify WordPress sites, it's going to greatly limit the people that you're going to be able to work with. And the beauty about this course is it's straight and to the point and is going to teach you the fundamentals of WordPress very quickly. 
And the thing is, you could get a job without getting this course. You could get a job without learning WordPress. But actually, I got very close to losing my job because I didn't know WordPress. At one point, since I did not know WordPress, my boss came and told me and he said, hey, I'm sorry, but I might not be able to give you work this month. We don't have enough clients who don't have WordPress sites. It would be really good for you to learn WordPress because we are looking for a WordPress developer. And if we can't, and if you can't learn how to do that, if you can't do that, we, we might have to replace you. So yes, I did get hired without it, but I eventually had to go learn it to not lose my job. So my advice for you is that you go learn it now because WordPress is so common that it's almost impossible if you're never going to need to use it in your career and avoid these issues, avoid possibly not getting hired because you don't know it and avoid possibly risking losing your job and getting replaced because you don't know it. If you want to see how much this course costs right now, again, all these courses, there are links in the description. And since it's you to me, uh, the prices fluctuate. So I can't really tell you how much they're worth. But again, go check in the description, go click on those links and it's going to tell you how much they are right now. After that, I recommend you get two simple web design courses. Okay, the first one is by Vako Shvili. It's called Complete Web Design from Figma to Webflow to Freelancing. The second one is Landing Page Design and Conversion Rate Optimization by Isaac Rodansky. Both of these courses share with you different aspects of web design. And I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking, Alec, I want to be a web developer, not a web designer. And that's, that, that's absolutely, I understand that. And that's exactly what I thought when I got my first job. And the thing is, I started building websites. And oftentimes when you're working with small companies or if you're working for a small company, uh, what happens is that they don't always hire web designers and they expect you as the developer to make the design of the website. And at first, you know, I did my best to make websites that looked as good as I could, but I didn't know the basics of web design. And so a lot of times I would share with our clients the websites that I built and they would answer to me and my boss that they were not as beautiful as they expected. They were not looking good. And so we had to keep working on them. My boss was kind of angry because, you know, he had to pay me more hours to build the websites. And it was annoying for me too, because clients kept telling me that my websites didn't look good. And after that, I got courses on web design and I'm not like the best web designer in the world. I just learned the basics to be able to build simple websites. The thing is, I'm not building websites for big corporations, not like the biggest websites in the world. I'm just working for small businesses and they don't need the beautiful, most beautiful websites in the world. They just need websites that kind of look good. And just by spending about 20 or 30 hours learning web design, you should get enough knowledge to be able to at least build websites that look good enough. And, you know, I wasn't the most artistic guy growing up. You know, we're, we're developers, we're programmer. That's probably the case for a lot of the people who are going to view this video. And so I highly recommend you go check out these courses. Again, if you want to see the prices for these courses right now, you can check in the description. Uh, if you can get them all for less than a hundred dollars, that's what I did. And that's exactly what I recommend. Otherwise wait for a sale. After you've been through these courses and you've learned programming and you're ready to get a job or start freelancing, if you want to get a job, I recommend you check out my video on how to build resumes using online courses. I'm going to put a link to it in the description. In this video, I actually share with you the exact resume that I used, the one that I made to get my first job. And I'm sharing with you exactly how to put online courses on your resume to make an amazing resume and increases the chances that you get hired. And if you want to actually do freelancing instead, get your own clients. That's actually what I started to do because I realized there's a lot more money to be made in freelancing. And it's actually some, something you can do without experience and without getting a job. If you want to learn how to do that and how I managed to get clients that pay me $85 an hour for my time, I'm going to share with you how I do that in the next couple of weeks. So subscribe, check my upcoming videos, and I'll see you soon. Take care.